So I've been seeing a common misconception with authentication when it comes to JWTs and server-side sessions. So I wanted to go over it in this video. Now it has to do with where you store or persist these tokens or sessions uh, on the browser. Um, and this leads to confusion when you wanna translate this and add authentication to say apps. So this is what a common setup looks like when you want to set up sessions or JWTs. So for sessions, it may look something like this. So on the user, uh, they have a browser and we are persisting that uh, the user, the data on that user with a session ID that is stored in a cookie. And then every time the user makes a request, the browser automatically sends up uh, that cookie to the server. The server grabs that cookie, which has the session ID in it, sends it to the database and the database sends back the session data and they can do whatever they want with it. Now take a look at JWTs commonly will persist the JWT token in local storage and then on every request they will send up the JWT in a header that usually looks something like this. It either says like authorization basic or bearer and then the token itself and then on the server it parses out the request header um, and then it can do whatever it wants with the token and the data inside of it. Now, because this is normally how you see it done, JWTs with local storage and sessions using cookies doesn't mean you cannot use uh, them inverse and that you can use JWTs with cookies and sessions with local storage. They're perfectly valid. Uh, storing something in a cookie or storing something in local storage is just deciding what storage mechanism you want to use. So you'll commonly see something where someone's trying to decide whether they should use JWTs versus cookies when it doesn't even make sense at all because it's like comparing apples to oranges. And in fact, you can store JWTs in a cookie. And in fact, I would recommend it if you're using JWTs uh, to do that. Um, and the way I see this crop up with server-side sessions is when someone wants to do an app and they're thinking about uh, how they want to do authentication for that. Maybe they have this already set up and they're like, man, I won't be able to use this anymore uh, because server-side sessions only work with cookies. And maybe they want to store the token in like async storage uh, on the phone or someplace on the phone that is not a cookie. Uh, so they get discouraged. But when the fact is you can actually use server-side sessions without cookies, you can send it down to the client and they can store it however you want and you can send the session ID as a header and parse it on the server. So I just wanted to show a quick example of this because it's not too hard to add to an existing solution. So this is how I've done it for one of my projects. I'm doing this for CodePonder and it's just simple middleware that sits in front of my session middleware. Now this is specific to Express Session uh, but I assume this works similarly with whatever session library you may be using. Uh, so this is the middleware right here. You'll notice it sits right in front of my session middleware. And all it does is it checks if there's an authorization header, right? So we just check if this header exists. And if it does exist, I'm going to split out the token here uh, and just pass the basically the session ID um, as a cookie, right? because I want to pass up this value as the header instead of a cookie. So all I'm doing is I'm swapping it and setting it as a cookie right before the session parses it because the session library expects a cookie, but I send it up as a header. The other way is if you want to send this value down to the client on the request, oops, request, there is the session ID you can send, or there's also you have access to the cookie itself if you need to. Um, that the session has. So you can send either of those values down um, and then parse it here in the header if you want to. So it is just good to know that when you're using server-side sessions or JWTs, you can store them in whatever you want. Uh, now normally you do see a cookie as a thing for server-side sessions, but you could use local storage if you want it. Now my opinion, if I'm going to implement uh, server-side sessions or JWTs in the future, uh, at least with the uh, browser, I'm going to be using cookies. Um, and so I'll be showing that soon, uh, how to do JWTs and cookies and all that fun stuff, because that is my preferred way of doing it. But just note, you can do either way, meaning on apps, doesn't matter what you're using for authentication. You can store the session ID or JWT wherever you want and send it up however you want.